Hello pre-med stars, this is Corey again. So the question is, what type of extracurricular activity should I participate in? And so the, this is a very good question and there's really no right or wrong answer, but I would tell you to do, there's at least to do certain extracurricular activities, especially if you're applying uh, to medical school. And so what they want to see is you want to at least have something that's medical related. And so that can be a pre-med organization, uh, that can be being in an honor society, uh, that can be uh, research, that can be community service. Um, and so you want to make sure that you have at least one of these things and maybe even a couple of these things uh, within your uh, college career. And uh, when you're deciding to do which one, it's really a personal thing. Uh, it's, a, it's really no right or wrong answer, but you want to make sure you have at least one or two of those things that's on your application. And another key thing is you want to make sure you're consistent. And so that's kind of the key thing that medical students, uh, schools looked at also. They can really pick up on really fast the student who, right before medical school, just packs on all their extracurricular activities and say, look, I'm doing this. But they can really see through that and show that you really don't have any passion for that. And so what you want to make sure you're doing is starting very early, especially like a, as a first year or as a freshman in college, starting with your extracurricular activities and continue to, to do those kind of throughout each year and so they can show that you really have a commitment uh, for let's say as being a leader showing leadership qualities and so they can see you as a freshman you were just a, you were like a, a member and they saw that when you're a sophomore you kind of took on a a bigger role let's say you were the treasurer and in your junior year you became the president and so they just kind of see how you progress as a leader and also how you stayed involved and kind of gave back and so <clears throat> Those are kind of the, the medical extracurriculars that you can get involved in that will really help you as far as uh, getting to medical school and also as being better as a person. But also there are other extracurriculars out, out there. Let's say you really love to weightlifting or you really love some other activity that's not medical related. Don't just throw that to the water just because it's not medical related. Do the, still, do, still do the things that you love. And so those are going to be the things that keep you sane and also that makes you different when you're applying to medical school. You got to understand, we all love science, so we're all going to have all those medical things on our application. But what's going to set you apart from someone else? If you have some, uh, some passion or you have something that's really unique or something that you really love and feel passionate about and something that's definitely going to, uh, to, to keep you being the person that you are and keeping you sane or kind of your, your getaway, make sure you stay involved in that also and so uh, the key but like I said the key thing for all of this is to, just to make sure that each year you're kinda uh, doing something medical related and make sure that you're consistent and that's gonna be the key thing um, as far as extracurricular activities in college